this is an, another video. This is after the fidget spinner video that I told you about. This is the one with these plants. And we're going to learn a new term, succulent. These plants are more different. I'll tell you what that term is. Alright, I got the term of succulent plants. I'll tell you what it is right now. Let's see. I was looking at pictures of also other plants. And botany... Botany. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Succulent plants are also, are also known as succulents or sometimes water storage plants. Are plants that have some parts that are more than normally thickened and fleshly usual to retain water in, in climates or soil conditions. So um, these ones are like, they have more storage for water. But the case is that I'm not sure, I really don't know like if aloe vera is, it is. Actually aloe vera is um, a succulent. Perennials, let me give you that term, I haven't done this for a few weeks. Sorry. But I'm just, just, just trying to teach you guys. Just helping you guys out. Right, wait. Whoops. I'm gonna put it in right, sorry. Right, perennial. A perennial plant, or simply perennial, is a plant that lives for more than two years. The term is often used to different a plant, a plant from shorter lived annuals and biannuals. We're gonna learn more about those soon. It, it's these are plants that live more, that are more healthier. It, it, it depends if you take care of it more. It depends how much you take care of it. Right? If if it's not good enough, or like if if it doesn't have enough water, or if it's too too wait. Like I mean by that, it's takes too long for you to water it and then for like a few weeks it dies after those weeks of you not watering the plant mm -mm, it's gonna die but if it's like two days or one day most likely um the plant will grow back i mean it will it will grow i mean if it's really dry it looks like it's gonna die but it's yes it's gonna live or no it's not gonna live so, these could last one year, it depends how much you take care of them and how you do it. Right? Alright. Next, we got annual and biannual. Annuals. An annual plant is a plant that completes its life cycle. It's a full year. Annuals are full year. A life cycle is a whole year, fall, summer, spring, and winter. Unless you don't want me to say not in order. From germination to the production of seed within one year and then dies. Summer annuals germinate during spring or early summer and mature by autumn of the same year. So, mature, it means it gets used to it. It, it matures to the stuff in there. And I'll tell you about, and like, there's a fact for you guys. Um, what was it's when you transplant a pot, I mean a plant, to a different pot. Transplanting is still taking the plant out of the pot and just putting it in a different pot. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter what you do with it. It's still transplanting. You're moving it to a different pot. If you're leaving it, it's not transplanting. So, that's that term. And I think I covered that before. And now we are gonna do biannual. So hope you like this. Biannual plants. Biannual plant is a flowering plant that takes two years to complete its political biological life cycle. In the first year, the plant grows leaves, stems, and roots. 
that it enters a period of dormancy over the colder months. Colder months like um mostly like more, more like winter, but some for fall because fall could be warm or cold. It depends if it snows or not during the fall. It's really more possible that it snows in the fall than the, than the spring or summer. So it could be like nippy out, like moist, like really cool during the autumn or fall, whatever you call it. Um, this is just for that. Um, and next, I'm going to search a different one for you guys. Bisexual point, I think. Bisexual points. Bisexual or perfect flowers have both the male androium corium and female genorium. Reproductive structures, including stamens and an ovary. Flowers that contain both both of those things are called homotonic. <coughs> Well, it's with the both, both means with both body parts, the stamina and the ovary, and we learned about that stuff in science sometime, it's in biology, it's been sophomore year, the sophomore year I did that. Next one, oh there's more, but, perennial, annual, bi biannual, and what was the other one, I forget that one. No worries. We all know what they are. Anyway, I'm going to show you these plants and we're going to be all done. Alright. Here they go. Um, This is, um, let's see if I sound this right. Um, it's like pilo. Pila. Um, these ones are a little hard. Some words are hard for me to sound now, so. I don't know why, but... Uh, okay, um, this one has, remember, use your, feel your, your touch. It's soft. Soft leaves. Bumpy and soft at the same time. This part is a little rough and not hard. It's like in the middle. Next, hey y'all, how y'all. Um, these are the curls right there. Oops. That's my tag for that one. Here's that one. It's hard, but not, but it's like smooth, but it's curly. Difference is curly. This plant is curly. The other one are just like, look like normal leaves, but different. Protein, protein. That one, I got that one right. You gotta be careful on this one. It looks like a cactus to me. Crotin is is a succulent. These are all succulents that I'm showing you today. Just if you want to see these plants. And there's a little one. I think there's a seed that fell out. And I'm growing this one. Just seeing that the process of doing this one. So, and each of these were in these that I was in Cincinnati. The chrome of oh, sort of told It's um it's in Eden Park. And um 